Hey there, welcome to Friendly All Images. My name is Melody. Um, this is part one of how to develop your own film at home. Um, this is something I highly recommend for those avid film photographers who do this a lot. Part one, uh, we're going to be mixing the chemicals for the developing process. Um, it's super simple, like anyone can do it. Just, just follow the directions and you'll be fine. <laughs> and also have the equipment ready. Um, I get, I like to get the, the Cinestill uh, CS41 kit um, for color film. This is for color film too, <laughs> um, not for black and white. But I get the CS41 kit by Cinestill. Um, I really like it because you kind of get a bang for your buck and you get about 24 rolls worth, um, which is um, a lot. <laughs> so we'll start off with um, your equipment. Um, I'll have a list below of everything that you need, plus where to get everything in the description. Um, so everything you need is the kit, of course, distilled or filtered water. I used filtered, a 32 ounce measuring cup, the sous vide, um, absolutely get this. You will need this for developing your film later. And um, according chemistry bottles, you definitely need to keep these chemicals airtight. A glass stirrer or plastic stirrer, and last but not least, a funnel. All right, let's put on our gloves that come with the kit, and we'll get to work on the developer. Now we have to make sure that the water is heated up to 120, uh, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to fill up the water up to 20 ounces because we are following um, the one quart um, thing. <laughs> We're gonna make one quart of developer basically. So we got our 20 ounces of water in there. Now we're gonna take part A developer and just mix that right in. Give it a nice stir. Come back and open the part B of the developer. It's a smaller bottle. Pour that in. Give it a nice stir. And we'll finally add part C, developer. Now be careful. Make sure you don't mix up the developer mix with the Blix mix. The Blix mix, haha. <laughs> I almost did that when I first started. The developer is red and the Blix is blue. And we're just going to take that funnel and pour it into our accordion chemistry bottle. It'll fill all the way up with that one quart because I got a one quart bottle here. And we're going to smash it down a little bit and screw it on and date it so we know when this developer was made. Because developer can go bad after a while. Um, depends on how many uses it's had and how long it's been sitting. It does take a while though. I finally exhausted my developer so I had to make some new ones. Or I had to make some new developer. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do now is clean up everything and rinse it all off and just use the same equipment for the Blix Mix. The Blix mix. <laughs> uh, for this Blix, we are going to focus on the one quart area here. Um, we're going to need 18 ounces of water. I'm just getting it all perfect up here. Right now I'm opening the uh, Blix A and I'm just going to mix that straight in there, stir it up nice. Then Blux B. Give it a little stir. And then Blux C. The dark one is last. Then you should end up with about 32 ounces, which is a quart. And then we'll go ahead and uh, open up the bottle with the blue cap and funnel that in. Now go ahead and make sure that this is all airtight. 
and date that one as well. We'll clean up and come back to mix the stabilizer. The stabilizer just requires 30 ounces of water. And then you just mix the, the little bottle that the stabilizer chemical is in. Stir that right up and you're, you're done. We'll go ahead and funnel that right into the bottle with the green cap and we'll seal that up, make sure it's all airtight and we'll date that one too. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm just sitting outside with my friend um, Starfish. He's a stray cat uh, that I like to feed sometimes. He's a really nice guy. Um, I, I don't like to feed them all, just a couple. So, you know, don't want to be responsible for every cat out here. But yeah, well done guys. You have now 32 ounce bottles of chemicals that you can now use for developing film. Um, in the next video, we will be learning how to actually use that film and put it into action. <laughs> Just realized like how close I was holding this to my face. Um, but yeah, I will see you in part two. And cool. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.